Generic greetings and welcome back to production line once again. So previously we were working on a car production plant that would output cars that were a lot more advanced technology wise than our opponents and also we were going for a lot of local production. So instead of buying a headlight that was very overpriced and also at the whim of the market fluctuation we would be able to bring in the raw resources built on site and not only do we make more money that way but also we can fit technology to it. So that was all good however a couple of bugs because of early access and all of that. Alpha game is alpha. But essentially um, the AI would romp ahead of technology and you just couldn't win there was a bit of a balance issue there I am advised that that is now fixed I've read the patch notes this is 1.20 and apparently that is fixed and there's also a nice new feature which is changing models of cars when you produce them so it should be a lot better but let's see how it goes so we're going to go back to new game and start a brand new mega factory and the plan is still the same try to produce cars with a lot of high technology let's just go first over to slots and then to our resource importer put that there we'll also go to an exporter there and then we'll go down for a quality check we're going to build it back over i'm going to put a fit electronics section in there even though we might not use it in fact at the moment we definitely won't use it because we've got no technology to actually fit in there and then we'll go for a full assembly so it's chassis uh, body paint engine accessories electronics quality check and then out the door yes so then we'll go for resource conveyor that obviously will come straight down and then we'll need to just sort of drag it down to there connect that up connect all these up very very simple we've seen it many times before and job done so that's all sorted and that'll be our very first car. Now we can actually see there's two models of car in car designs. We've got a compact and we've got a sedan. And those are the very, very basic models. You can create a new model. And what that does is allow you to select different pieces of technology to put in the car. But we can't do that because we haven't got said technology. Also, we can increase the price, which is what we'll do. We'll increase it to a 20% markup, I believe because why not one of the things I was uh, interested in is you can see the sale price here of the car um, that's the same for a sedan and a compact you would think that a compact and a sedan would have inherent positives and negatives associated with it so a sedan being probably the middle ground where it's um, not as economical as the compact but also you can fit more people and stuff in it whereas the SUV you can fit more in it but you can't but it's not obviously out of the three cars that are in the game at the moment which is SUV compact and sedan it is not the most uh, advanced. By the way, I haven't actually connected any of these lines up, which I should probably do because, uh, well, that would help production of a car, wouldn't it? There we go. Excellent. Let's go over to facilities and research office, and we'll put some research offices in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we are. Job done. No research selected, so we'll go to research. Scroll right down to the bottom and then get some more robots because that's always useful to... Well, it's always useful for getting rid of the bottleneck around here. I'm hoping that the game's a little bit more stable than previously for some reason we've had random crashes on the last couple of episodes and I don't know why I really don't know what the deal is with it but um, hey ho alpha game is alpha as long as it's enjoyable then I don't really care about <laughs> it dropped it to crash the desktops for no reason it's really infuriating um, as is you know uh, random cars not being produced for whatever reason or um, to, uh, the opponents getting massive technologies like getting uh, voice control sat navs and all sorts of stuff before they've got electric windows it's just a bit dodgy and I've just noticed something. Hang on, is that correct? Let me just go for administ no, not administration, uh, factory expansion, because I think there's something wrong here already. That's not a sedan. That's a compact. It is a compact. Body style compact. I don't know whether my memory's faulty. There's been a change in the game while that's a bug, because I was fairly certain that you can only select the body style when you break down the chassis assembly in this thing here. So you would, you would do axles, undercarriage, fuel tank, and you'd do that and you could select it from the axle section. I thought you could only select it there. Has it been added to this chassis assembly area? I'm assuming it has. Or, as I said, it's a bug, or, which is more likely, my memory's faulty and it's always been there. <sighs> anyway, let's just go for an upgrade on this fit body bit because it is the slowest with 28 minutes to actually fit the body. And we'll max speed out. So it looks like we are producing compacts as our first car, which is an interesting thing. I mean, it doesn't matter what we produce, to be quite honest with you, it's uh, getting produ uh, produced nonetheless. And I've just realised that I haven't got a painting... No, I've got a painting section. What am I on about? Painted, fit, engine, yeah, and then accessories. It just looked a bit longer because we've got these electronics things in. You can see we've got upgrades and none of these upgrades are in. Now, previously, the way the game would do it is if you had researched these technologies, so in-car music, Bluetooth, phone support, things like that, then any car coming through this line would get those upgrades. Now, it is no longer the case, or no longer necessarily the case. As you can see in our car designs, we can click a new model, and I'm not going to do it now because there's nothing to add, but if I click...
create new model, it'll produce a new model on this tab. Uh, I'll create a new tab with a new model there, and then we can alter the price separately and also select technology to put in the car. So that's quite useful. Speaking of technology, do we go up that right now or do we go for things like even more robots? I'm going to go for even more robots for the time being. We'll spend the next sort of five or six minutes getting this line up as fast as possible just so we, uh, you know, get the cars... Um, out the door quicker and we'll go for a 50% markup just because we can and let's just see if it works we'll see what happens but anyway that's our first car out the door which is very very good we can also now um get another section here we'll go for um even more robots yeah why not um and I think the slowest part is in here, so we'll go for upgrades, we'll go for an extra robot, that's taking it down to 26. With a third one, we should be around about the sort of 22 mark, maybe a little bit higher. Looks like we sold that car to 50% markup, which was useful. Current funding is 1.7 million, and we are on negative energy, which if we look at our expenses, we can see that... Uh Power purchase is a quarter of our overall expenditure, so we need to build some generators sooner rather than later. Yeah, it looks like we are selling cars at a massive markup, which is a very interesting thing. As you can see, our compact is selling at 24,000. I don't know why people must really, really want this model. Um, what we're going to do is, do we rename it? I think we can rename it. There's the extra robot, so we'll go for improved efficiency here and research that. Go to normal speed, and we're going to change it, so it's going to be uh, the generic compact. Same for the, the sedan. Generic com uh, generic sedan. Um, uh, it's not going to be the base model. Uh, just generic sedan and generic combat will be fine and then what we'll do is we'll have the premium versions and we'll have the entertainment versions and what we'll probably do is make several different models solely because we can because um, at the moment there's no disadvantage as far as I can tell from just stacking all of your technology into one car there's no reason why you wouldn't do that because you make more money however I'm guessing as the game progresses you'll have certain um, perhaps events or rather uh, consumer requirements so they might want a lot of safe cars they might want a lot of um they might want a lot of they might want a lot of um, entertainment features in the car so there'd be a reason to only put entertainment products in the car or entertainment features or maybe just driver aids things like that and that's something that uh, will be quite exciting when it uh, gets added at the moment it's just a very interesting sort of factory game anyway so that's producing that's we've got that very fast research um our faster conveyor bolts and we'll go for faster imports later on we're just gonna get the other speed thing here let's just go for our fit body which is fine that's the slowest to 25 that's at 14 that's at 22 yeah so that's the slowest part this one here the fit body so we don't need to put any more robots in these ones because it just costs money that we'll never recoup back because the slowest part is this we've already got that maxed out so these are never going to be waiting if we click on it oh sorry these are always going to be waiting you can see the majority of their time is waiting for vehicle look at that wow yeah loads of time waiting for it whereas this one is uh, almost never waiting. Look at that. The majority of the time is running. Aye. And maybe a little bit of time waiting for resources, which obviously is something we're trying to uh, fix anyway. So maybe getting um, import priorities, you know, faster resource imports. So pre uh, boost the speed at which a resource import is placed resources on conveyor belts, because obviously that's uh, quite important for us at this point. And what we'll do, we'll probably get a... Do we get another line up and running that's going to produce a... We've got a compact. We also will probably want a sedan as well, don't we? Do you, want to, do you want one of each? I think it would be worth it. I think it would be worth it. Where would I put it? Here? Uh, I'm not really too sure. We do, putting it here is possible. We can just expand that one. It doesn't cost a lot. Let's put it around here. Um, what we'll go for is a slot. And then obviously we want to go for export. And then we'll rotate this around so we've got a quality check which will go in here, and then your electronics. It's going to be exactly the same as the one we've got going now. It's just going to be uh, in a different... It's just going to be a little bit further back. So it is... Pause at the moment. Chassis, body, paint, engine, accessories, electronics, quality check, and then export. Yeah, that seems to be all connector-rated. Then we're just going to do that, 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 that. And then bosh out the door obviously resource importer we do need one and i do stress we do need one that's not the right thing 
That is the right thing. It's just it's changing the look at that, it's changing the uh when I when I'm clicking and dragging it's it said it was uh wrong for a moment there. It was saying it was a uh a conveyor. Right, so we'll go back over to here, and you can see it says insufficient resources. It'll get there in the end. And this will be producing, hang on, I need to pause it a second. Change from generic compact to generic sedan. Yeah, add entity, and close that down. Entry, I was an entity for some reason. And it's always on this game, on this part. So we've got our sedan, we're producing one of. We could have alternated them there, but I like the idea of just getting one line for each. And it hasn't cost, it cost us a great amount of money, so that's fine. Now, eventually these cars will become completely redundant. There'll be a point where they are no longer fit for purpose, because they simply don't have the uh, extra bonuses that um, other cars have. But hey ho. So, uh, we could go for a uh, super fast resource import. Yeah, we'll go for super fast resource importers. Then we know that we've got most of the upgrades that we really need for this thing. Now, understand that I prefer to get a lot of the, a lot of the base upgrades like that are factory wide first because it's just a flat out speed and efficiency bonus. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, let me upgrade these with uh, three extra robots, which you can see are crack oning with their task. Crack oning with their task? They're cracking on with the task. They are working hard. Okay, see all the resources streaming. That's fine. Job done. So, um, I don't think we need any more uh, resource. Hang on, super fast resource. Oh. Most over that the head and said super fast resource imports. Hang on. That's not that. They're not that. They're research stations. Yeah, it's because that's what they're researching, idiot. Right, okay, technology. Go for entertainment and research that. And what we're going to do is similar to what we did in the previous uh, series is go for a. Go for a. Entertainment system and things that for electronics. So anything that's in this list here, we're gonna go for. So we want in-car music, we want Bluetooth phone support, we want uh, voice recognition. Now these lines will have all of that. Anything in electronics, when we can get it, we will put in, right? That's what we're gonna put in because we don't have to alter the line any further. Every other line that we do, however, is going to be different. I think the plan is to get some research uh, get some research and technologies here to add things like emergency brake assist and stuff. But the problem we've seen is that a lot of this technology, you need to break things right down. So in order to put some of this technology in, you also have to have the other technologies in this bit. And it becomes a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, let's just go for... That is in-car music. And now we're going to go for Bluetooth phone support. So if I just go to normal speed here and I can click on the electronics, go up to upgrades, I can buy in-car music and we'll buy that. And what that does is, for a start, it requires some more resources. You can see aerial stream in but also it will alter our car design so there's our car design that's the generic compact you can see now that has in this in-car music section here it already selected availability is very rare and we can turn that on or off so now i'm going to say yes that is now included but for some reason that's not grayed out that's grayed out when we haven't got it selected you would think that would say instead of included say not included when it's not ticked i know what they're trying to do oh well so you click included and it does alter the price as you can see and it's um it's already got a premium of 110%, plus our 50% on top. So uh, we're going to get a nice, decent amount of money from that. So that's now on. We could create a new model, but no, we're going to keep this as our basic model. And we're going to do the very same thing over to uh, over on this place here. So we'll buy that, and then we'll go over to our car designs, over to the generic sedan, and turn that on. So that's now not going to class as a different model. It's not going to give us an alert saying, oh, here's a problem, do this, do this, do this. It's not. It should just be that one design, which is good, because that's what we want. And when we go for more premium design, or designs that may have, for example, a um, different set of technology, then it'll be in uh, these car designs. Now, I'm not too sure how it works. Like, for example, if I go back to this chassis assembly area, you can see we're producing the generic compact body type. Uh, I'm guessing... Oh, I know, oh, doesn't matter. I've already worked out how it does it, right? So... And just a quick test here, if I just go for create a new model, it's called unnamed design, and we'll just close that, and I'll just go to pausing a second. Can I go to generic compact and drop that down to, yeah, it's there, right. Originally how the game worked is you would just select your body type here, your body style, okay, and then it would produce that, and then the stuff that would be placed on it is based on whatever on this line, whatever's on this line, whatever you upgraded it with. Now the way it does it is you create your car design here, and then you select the car design there. I also cannot delete that model 
for some reason, which is really infuriating because I don't want that model to be here. That's annoying. Why can't I delete the model? I don't know. Oh well. Um, but now that's co not that's called body style. That shouldn't be called body style, then surely, it should be called model, because we're not selecting the body style, or not necessarily selecting the body style. Really, we're selecting the model. Why can't you delete it? You can create a new, but you can't delete the model. That's just weird. Either way, we're going to start including in both of these things uh, in the generic sedan. Uh, we're going to start producing the Bluetooth or the Bluetooth phone support. I've selected it, but obviously we haven't upgraded it, so we do need to upgrade it like so, and like so. So it looks like rival companies have researched the heater. This tech is now rare. We will go for that at some point. Um, we're going to go for voice recognition. And then we'll go for whatever else we can put in there. Heater is installed in the fit dashboard, which requires breakdown, which we don't have. The strange thing is that um, there's no timeline in this game. You would think that at some point there'll be a timeline added. In fact, I'm, I assume there will be a timeline added. So uh, technologies that historically came before, others would be researched first. So, Or maybe there's a premium for researching technologies that are a lot further more, like, more advanced. So, for example, I've just got voice recognition before the majority of companies have got heaters. That's not how it would work. <laughs> That's not how it did work. Unless I'm not aware of some British Leyland car that had voice recognition, but a really crap heater. Anyway, we're going to turn on voice recognition here. We also need to go to SatNav as well, so we'll research SatNav in a moment. Let's just go for all of that voice recognition. We'll drop down in our research tab. Our voice recognition we've done. We need to go for a... It's in technologies. We need to go for... Convenience features satnav yet yeah, since there it is so it's convenient features and satnav so we'll go for that one again go over to car designs we'll turn all of these on so there we are we're now producing that and you can see we're getting a nice premium there as well excellent uh, so rival companies research cruise controller tech is now rare fine that's now producing quite well excellent that's what we want that's going to get shipped out looks like we've got our convenience features unlocked we'll go for sat nav and then we'll shove the sat nav system in the uh, electronics part here you can see there's loads of electronics and stuff we have produced stuff on site before and it was actually quite interesting making all of those resources I actually found it quite fun going around and altering all of the lines and things i had to to get it all set up that was quite good uh well, what, how long does it take to fit all this still two minutes to do that still two minutes to uh get that stuff fitted to get the in-car music, Bluetooth phone spot, and voice recognition. It would just all be in dash, I guess, wouldn't it? Oh, well, class is part of it being in the dashboard. There you go. So there's our sedans. And there's our compacts. So all good, really. Good production going there. Good production. Looks like auto steer headlights is being researched. Um, there's our sat nav unlocked. So let's go for... What do we go for now? Well... I think we're probably best going for specializations on accessories and body and get a full specialization tree going. Probably the, probably the best way of going about it. Um, let's just unlock our sat nav in this one. Click on that and go for a sat nav. And then obviously we do need to go over to car design. Generic sedan. You can see we now have a sat nav on there as well as the uh, sat nav. So it's availability very rare. All of this is very rare. And why can't I delete that model? Do I have to rename it? Nope, you just can't delete the model for some reason. Hmm. What if I add the entity? Hang on. I said entity again, didn't I? Yeah, I can't delete it. That's very strange. So, unnamed design. Delete that, we don't want that. I can't delete that. Hang on. That's the new name for the car. <laughs> right, sorted. So, we should have all of these technologies in here. It looks like it is. Oh, it's up to three minutes and nine seconds now. Uh, there's our research complete for unlocking accessory specialization. We're going to go down for the body specialization and everything else. 
Um, we could break all of these down, but we're not. We're going to break it down into the first and then second tiers. So we'll we'll have a line just like the last series where we have um, all of these research, and then the next one will be that all of this, and then the next line will be everything built on site. At least that is the overall objective. Whether or not we get that far, I really have no idea. But I think we will leave it there. Not a bad start here. We are making money, as you can see, profit. Don't look at that bit. Uh, we are making money. Not a great deal. But we are making cash. And so far, the technology uh, that the, uh, the, the, the computer's been researching has not been well above me in terms of the speed. They've got things like, oh, look at that. They've now so the researched electric windows. That tech is now universal. That's interesting. Let's have a quick look at that. So, um, electric windows is now universal tech. There it is. Uh, but that's in the electric windows fit windows section. But fit windows is in... Where is it? Is it door specialization? Yes. So, I'm going to have to do the full breakdown. Right. That's what we'll do then. I think next episode, we'll skip going for the first tier. What we'll do is research everything on this production line, like this production tree, and break everything down into accessories, body specialization, frames, doors, and do the lot in one go. So we're going to skip the the, the interim um, first tier production process. We'll go for the, the next tier and then do that. And then we'll go for a much more advanced one, as in we're just going to chain these in a line so there's going to be horrible inefficiencies across the board. But at least we've got a line which we can make a car with lots of technology. And then after that, we'll go for a much more streamlined line and then maybe even go for one where we produce everything. That's the overall long-term plan. Whether or not we get there is, well, it sort of remains to be seen, doesn't it? As always, though, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Comments in the comments and generic partings.